with grandma. You can easily drag and drop pre-made comments to a specific area within the paper. You can also add and save your own comment so you don't have to type it again. To do this, click on the blue comment button. Enter your comment, then click on save as new quick mark. Give it a title and put it under a set. I usually pick commonly used if I know I'm going to use it often. Then click save. You can select the comment set that you'd like to drag by clicking on this menu icon. I'll choose commonly used now and as you can see the comment I just saved is already there and it will stay there for all other assessments I will mark in the future using Turnitin. For one-off comments you can also highlight a part in the paper and write your own comments for it. Make sure the bubble comment is selected when you do this. To do this, highlight the sentence or paragraph, click on the blue comment button, enter your comments and click save. Remember, if you think you'll use this particular comment again, save it as a quick mark. You can also add an overall comment for the whole document. By clicking on the General Comments button down here, the students will see all of these comments when they open their submissions after the post date.